In World War II, countless war machines were built, and out of those built, only a handful were chosen by fate to become legends. But what about those who deserved the title though never received it? What happened to them? Welcome all to this video. My name is Surviving History, and today we'll be diving into the pages of history and uncovering the untold legends of World War II. The Panzer Jager Tiger Ausif B, more commonly referred to as the Jag Tiger, was the heaviest tank put into service during World War II. With a weight of 72 tons and armor up to 250 millimeters thick, the Jag Tiger was nearly impenetrable to most Allied anti tank weapons from the front. Armed with a 12.8 centimeter Pac 44, it was capable of destroying even the most heavily armored Allied tanks from more than a kilometer away. To power the tank, the water-cooled V12 Maybach HL230 petrol engine, which was originally built to power late modifications of the Panzer V Panther and Panzer VI Tiger Ones was used. Producing about 590 gross horsepower at 2500 RPM compared to the original 690 gross horsepower at 3000 RPM, it could only push the Yacht Tiger to about 34 km an hour in perfect conditions and only around 10 km an hour in cross country due to its low power to weight ratio of 9.8 horsepower per ton. Jagd Tiger 331 was constructed by Steyr Daimler Push at Nebel Ungerwerk, located near St. Valentin, Austria, in October 1944, with Fargastel number 305020. Once Jagd Tiger 331 was ready for action, the tank was attached to the newly formed 3rd Company of the 653rd Heavy Panzer Jagger Battalion. In January 1945, Jagdtiger 331 along with the 3rd Company were assigned to assist the 17th SS Panzer Grenadier Division under the 13th SS Corps to partake in Operation Nordwind, the last German offensive of World War II. During the offensive, Jagdtiger 331 with the 17th Panzer Grenadier Division assaulted the US 44th and 100th Infantry Divisions near the town of Rimlin. But due to extreme weather conditions and the replacement of commanders numerous times, the assault was a failure. The 17th Panzer Grenadier Division then went on to fight against the U.S. 7th Army and the U.S. 15th Corps until the end of the operation on January 30, 1945. By mid-February, the 3rd and 2nd Company had reunited in Landau temporarily, and by the end of the month, the two companies were resupplied and had the combined strength of 41 Tigers. In late March 1945, Yacht Tiger 331, accompanied by two other Yacht Tigers, 234 and 323, were tasked with defending the town of Neustadt from the advancing Allied troops of the U.S. 3rd Army. The man commanding the Yacht Tigers was Lieutenant Kasper Jogler, a veteran tank commander from the Eastern Front with several kills credited to his name. Jogler expertly positioned the Yacht Tigers to the north of the town with a great vantage point to where he could clearly see the roads into town. On March 22, 1945, Jogler's Yacht Tigers engaged an armored column. In the engagement, the three Yacht Tigers successfully knocked out up to 25 American tanks. Yacht Tigers 331 and 323 took 10 hits combined, though not one was a penetrating round. After the fight was over, Jogler repositioned his tanks into Neustadt proper due to the chance of US air power and artillery being called in on his original position. While repositioning his tanks and appointing them firing positions, Jagd Tiger 323 broke down while entering its position along Landara Street. In the meantime, Jagd Tiger 331 took a secondary position across the road, which gave the crew a dominant firing position against any advancing Allied armor. Throughout the day, Jagd Tiger 331 would expend nearly all of its ammo, and so the choice was made by Jogler to abandon the tank. The crew drained all of the fluid out of the recuperator cylinders and fired a single shot which jammed the gun in its recoil position, rendering it entirely useless to the US Army. Jogler and the crew of 331 and 323 hitched a ride on the unit's half truck towards Zietzgam, with Jagd Tiger 234 following behind where the tank was later destroyed. The following day, March 23rd, the U.S. 3rd Army took the town and discovered Yacht Tiger 331 and 323. Both Yacht Tigers were later transported away by M26 Dragon Wagons. Yacht Tiger 331 would later become a signpost at a crossroad for some time during and after the war. 
Eventually, Yacht Tiger 331 was collected by the U.S. Army and shipped overseas to the Aberdeen Proving Grounds in Maryland, USA for evaluations. The tank was relocated to the U.S. Army Ordnance Museum within the base in the 1950s. The tank would remain there for about half a century, accumulating damage from exposure to the outdoor elements. In the 1980s, the tank would undergo a much-needed repaint. This repaint would still be the most recent Yacht Tiger 331 would have received as of the time I uploaded this video. As time rolled by, Yacht Tiger 331 was eventually relocated to the National Army, Armor, and Cavalry Collection in Fort Benning, Georgia by early 2014. As of June 29, 2022, Yacht Tiger 331 was moved to the museum's conservation center and is currently undergoing much needed restoration.